Hi, Paula. Just want to give you another word of encouragement. I know everybody's been jumping all over you. And one person that jumped all over you, I was just a little bit perplexed about, and I got to talk to you about, tell you I feel your pain about him. I love his show. Anthony Bourdain, no reservations. I love it. But he walks around, and all he does is go from place to place eating. And then he had the nerve to talk about you. Okay, I know he didn't take any endorsements or anything like that, but, hmm, going from place to place eating. Now, I love to watch it. We all love to watch it, Anthony, going from place to place eating. But what are you showing us about life, Anthony? You're showing us that you live to eat too. You go from place to place, look at beautiful things, but it's between meals, meal to meal. That's the whole thing. So let's not criticize Paula. Let's all realize that we love to eat. We all love to eat. And so Paula, Anthony loves to eat just as much as you love to eat. So he's a tall, slim stick figure and can get away with eating all that nasty stuff all around the world, that greasy, that fried, that everything. He can get away with it because God made his body that way possibly. But possibly also one day it'll catch up with him and we just can't see it so much in him because he's not so chunky. So Paula, I feel your pain. I'm looking at him with a critical eye as a doctor, just like I'm looking at you and all those other people out there that are doing the thing. But I wanna also say, I love you guys' personality. I love watching Anthony. I love watching you, Paula, too. But can we show America something else besides everything surrounded eating? So let's try to get some strategies out there so that we enjoy life, and but it doesn't center always around food. So Paula, what I recommend now, pick up another hobby. And one hobby I would recommend that's really a lot of fun, dancing, ballroom dancing, tango, something like that. You'll find that when you do these type of dances that you don't even feel like eating because you just feel so good otherwise. So Paula, this is your in-between message before you get back to the office. I still got your chair right here just for you so we can come and try to figure out strategies to get rid of that medication. I'm Dr. Veronica, host of Wellness for the Real World, bringing you real solutions.